Welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and it is time for another What's in the Box. So excited because you guys can see what I'm drinking. I can't see what I'm drinking, but it's always fun because you guys can make fun of me at home while you're watching, while I say the wrong thing about what's in this glass. But the thing is, I'm just telling you my honest opinion. I'm drinking it, I'm trying it, I'm enjoying it, and then, well, I might be enjoying it. There's always a chance I don't. Like that one time that Bill poured me apple cider vinegar during dry week. Oh, or maybe some Wabash Reserve. Anyhow, okay, I'm just rambling on. So let's get into this. Thank you so much for watching, for subscribing, for commenting. I really appreciate you. It makes a huge difference. So cheers to you guys. Now let's dive in and see what we got in this glass. On the nose, it doesn't, whoa. <laughs> My swirl, like I need to like slow-mo that so you can watch it. Cause my swirl, it just like splashed straight out of the top of the glass and it went poof, like all over the table. I really have to make sure I put that in there. That would be hilarious. Okay. On the nose, it smells like a brown sugar with like sweet um, orange peel, like actually orange rind, orange rind. A light hint of caramel. It lightly tinges the nose hairs. Like it doesn't burn them, but it kind of feels like there might be a little proof on the nose. Could be wrong. Sweet, but it, overall it doesn't have a whole lot going on with it. Doesn't smell super youthful, but it also doesn't smell like aged. Doesn't smell very oaky. Gives me MGP vibes, but I could definitely be wrong about that. So let's taste it and see what's going on here. Definitely it has more proof. Wow, it's definitely proof forward. Warmer than I was expecting. Let me take another sip of that. Definitely warmer than anything I've had today, so there's that. Like when I tasted that, I wanted more to be going on. Like it's good, it has a good amount of proof, but it's not like, like it doesn't feel like there's a lot going on with it. Like it has, normal like vanilla caramel like i don't really taste that orange peel that i take a smell or that orange rind that i smelled on the nose give it another sip here like there's a little bit on the back end that has like a little bit of richness and brown sugar and a light bit of cinnamon but mid palette is kind of flat for me like it's flat and it's missing something kind of just tastes like sweet lightly corny i don't know it doesn't have a lot going on with it i think it's fine it doesn't taste like super youthful or bad or anything i just don't i don't think i would actively drink this or buy it it definitely has more proof than i think like i think it has like a hundred it tastes like a like 120 proof but it's just not actually it's definitely it might be lower than that. I don't know. I might be wrong, but it's kind of just meh. It's just kind of not exciting. So that's what I think about it. I wouldn't buy this. Uh, it's like I said, it's not bad, but I just doesn't excite me. It doesn't have a lot going on with it. Like I want more, like I want more flavor. I don't know. Anyhow, that's what I think of it. So it's time to figure out what's in this box. I'm nervous. I'm a little nervous actually. I'm always scared because I always give my honest opinion. And I'm like, what if it's something I normally really like? So here we go. Let's figure it out. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> I, I, I like how I said 120 proof. That's exactly what it is. It's 120 proof. Ezra Brooks Cast Strength. Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. All right, so this is a single barrel, 120 proof. So I was dead on, dead on, nailed it. Bourbon, I thought it was tasting more like, to me, like a um, MGP, but it just didn't have a whole lot going on with it. I wanted more out of it. Like I wanted more flavor. And overall it was just like, there just wasn't a lot there. So that's how I feel about it. Let me know what you guys think if you have tried any of these Ezra Brooks single barrels, the 120 proofers. I mean, they might have different proofs, I don't know. But I haven't drank a lot of this one and I just, I'm not gonna be reaching for it just cause it's just, it's just not that exciting. So that's how I feel about it. That's my honest opinion. I tried it, just wasn't my jam today. So let me know what you guys think. As always, I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker and I'll see you next time.